All right, so I'm in week three of uh, my Amazon FBA business, selling books. I um, actually I sent my first my first shipment in January fifth, but um, yeah, you know, it took a week to get that checked in, so I don't really count that. So I figure, yeah, about three weeks. Um, sent in about three hundred and some books. I've sold about 40 of them. Um, half of them aren't even checked in yet. Um, that's a, one of the things that is weird about Amazon. Um, I thought at first, my first shipments I just sent in, let them sort, let them tag, let them do everything. Um, and it was really slow. In fact, my first shipment from January 5th still has one book that's not checked in. So I don't know where they're sending that book or what's going to happen to it. <clears throat> my second shipment, I labeled, no, 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 my second shipment, I sent in and also let them tag. And uh, that one is almost all checked in now. That was uh, like January 10th. Um, my third shipment, <clears throat> I tagged, did everything, um, sorted didn't they all, all Amazon had to do was basically check it in and that one literally was starting to be checked in two days after I sent it um, it's still not completely checked in I think it's like 78 out of 80 books or 81 so I don't know it, it's really close uh, in fact it's closer than my second shipment so the third shipment is actually beating the second shipment um, the fourth and fifth shipment I don't know um, it's been a week and a little over a week <clears throat> since I sent those in and they haven't even begun to be checked in. In fact, one is still showing in transit, so I may have to end up uh, tracking that one. So there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Um, I thought maybe I was onto something um, labeling the, the books myself, but it appears that that doesn't play a part at all so far. Um, first impressions uh, the, the profit is not what I thought it would or was um, from what I watched on the YouTube videos I mean everybody's talking that five ten bucks a book you know whatever and you know, glory days are here again and uh, that's not the case um, <coughs> I uh, I'd say the majority of the profit on my books is two to four maybe sometimes five um, every now and then I'll have a book that's like $40 or, you know, 20 something like that. But the majority are probably in the 2 to $3 range. Um, if they have a really good uh, e-score and, uh, you know, not that huge of a supply, um, like if it's a 151 e-score and there's 38 in stock, um, if it's a dollar or two, I'll take it, um, only because I know that I'm going to send it in and the thing's going to sell right away. So it's kind of like, I mean, I guess you're you're banking on the fact that, or on, on the uh, hope that it doesn't get returned and turn into a nightmare. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, we'll see. But yeah, if you're watching videos from two or three years ago about Amazon FBA selling books. Uh, take what they say profit-wise and cut it in half. I mean, you got to basically come up with a smarter way to get huge amounts of books to Amazon to make any kind of uh, any kind of dent in your finances. And it's not you're going to be making money right away. Um, I I didn't look today, but <coughs> so far Amazon has charged me. I've sent in five shipments, three hundred and some books. Um, sold 30 or 40 of them um, and so far Amazon has billed me $12 um, like charged my card $12 and I think I have like $50 in my seller account um, I got tons more books in the pipeline which I'm assuming that's where the profit comes in but so far um, three weeks in I've not pulled a dime out and in fact I've put uh, $13 in so, and that's not including, you know, labels and uh, printers and, you know, whatever. I mean, that's, or the cost of books. That's just 
just with Amazon. So, anyway, I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to give it a couple months and see how it does. I, I mean, I'm not going to lose money, but I'm, is it going to be worth it? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know that I can source books in big enough quantities to make this worthwhile. I mean, I'm hitting uh, everything around here that I know. Um, getting a lot of advice from people um, as far as, you know, just where to hit, when to hit, what to buy, whatever. And uh, I just don't think it's, right now, my impression is it's not gonna be worth it unless I find a way to source bigger amounts of books and better books. I mean, because really, the profit margins are just not, I mean, the, I mean, I say profit margins, you know, I paid 29 cents to 50 cents for a soft cover. Um, I can sell those anywhere from $10 to $20 usually. Um, Amazon fees are going to take up the majority of that. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the profit is three, four, five hundred percent on 50 cents. You know, big, big deal. You know, I mean, when you factor in time, gas, you know, expenses and whatever, I don't, I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. So anyway, we'll see. I mean, I know people are making a good living doing it, but I think they, uh, a lot of them have gotten into wholesale. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, man, the pollen here in Florida is ridiculous, so I got a cough. But uh, anyway, and uh, eFlip I've canceled. Um, I bought about $200 worth of books. I'm glad I didn't go, you know, ape shit like I wanted to because, uh, I mean, it seemed like a really good thing. I mean, the profit margins are definitely there. Um, you know, $20 to $40 a book, that's great. Problem is, you buy books that you can't turn around and resell because Amazon restricted them. So now you're stuck with your inventory, hoping that Amazon maybe will will open that up again. Um, I've, I've messaged seller support and they've said, you know, they're aware of the problem and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And a lot of people are complaining. Yeah, I bet they are because they're all buying the books from eFlip. So... Anyway, I got a stack of uh, stack of textbooks that I can't do anything with. Um, it's not worth it to sell her. Well, I can't even list it as seller, but it's not worth it to put her on eBay because they're really low over there. Um, you know, the FBA is the, really the only way to make my money back. I mean, I could return them, but I don't want to screw any sellers. You know, they they did what they're supposed to do, and you know, I don't want to I don't want to screw with that. I mean, I guess it affects their rating or whatever. You know. So anyway, I'm keeping the books. I'm not going to be a douche. But uh, in the meantime, eFlip was a flop. But anyway, if anybody has uh, any ideas that I should try or uh, anything I should give a go, man, leave a, leave a comment. I would uh, greatly appreciate your input. And uh, anyway, I hope you all have a good day and happy sourcing and uh, yeah, do well. See ya.